All right, so everybody's been asking me for an update video on the F100. Some of y'all know I took out the front part of it. And so far what I've done to it was I put a new battery in it, a new old cap, and got the carburetor on there and hooked up and everything. I've got it running and bought a little fuel filter for it. But I haven't been driving it or posting videos about it because I've been waiting until I could get a bunch of stuff at once to fix it. And I've got new lug nuts on this side, new tire on this side, a new tire on, or no, I ain't got the tire on this side. I got a new tire on that side. I got the replacement tires in the back and all the stuff that came off the front. I'm gonna take the trim off of the uh, sides and then probably gonna bondo the holes and like send this little clip off and all that make everything smooth again really all i've done since that was we painted over the ford symbol and then we sanded it down and we're gonna sand around the edges here and then just clear coat it to kind of give it that old look probably gonna might send down the back bumper and paint it but you can see i'm getting the trim off most of it i went and got a bunch of new parts and I guess I'll show that to you now all right so here's all the parts I got for it today got a bunch of stuff for the brakes I've got radiator hoses headlights the clamps got a gas cap and I'm probably gonna go back and get more but I figured I'd just buy all this for now and then put it on and figure out what else I need to get first one thing I have forgot to mention is that I also bought a new gas tank that's supposed to come in tomorrow. So once that comes in, we'll be putting that in. So here's the news hoses. And the reason I'm replacing them is because when I bought this truck, it set for 20 years before I bought it. So you can see that this all needs to be replaced. Wish that dog would shut up. I got that. The other one broke loose. I mean, you can just see how nasty and old it is. And Tyler's working on putting the headlight in. We got both the headlights put in. Got the other hose off. You can see just how disgusting and messed up it is. Look how rusty that water pump is. Gonna eventually replace it. Replace most of the stuff I'm putting underneath here. Well, we've already ran into our first problem with the truck. These are the hoses that came off of it, and here's the ones that I bought. And the ones I bought aren't the same size as the ones that was on it. This end fits around, but that end's too small, and this one's too long. So I can't even get it in there to see if it fits. And as you can see, this one stretched out pretty wide compared to that one so I don't even think it's the right size either so I'm gonna just wait till tomorrow when I go pick up my gas tank trade out the hoses for the right ones I have these parts that I could be putting on today but I don't feel like it or at least not today because I do have things I gotta do and what I'll do is I'll just keep the videos from the day because really I didn't get to do much. So I'll get all the videos tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, it'll just all be in one video putting all this new stuff on. And if the gas tank works, then I should be able to start driving it here pretty soon. But I'll keep everybody updated on it. When I left off in the last video, I said I was going to do it the next day, but... There's a tropical storm coming through. So what I did was I just went ahead and got more parts. As you can see, I got a whole lot to put on there. And then I got this big old box here, which is my gas tank that I'm gonna be putting on. I'm not really sure where I left off with the last video, but 
we're gonna go ahead and get started on the brakes. We got some of the parts, the rest are in the truck. And we got it underneath the shed now. Alright, so just a quick little update. I got everything off and sprayed some of this on it, but I ran out. So we're gonna try to clean this up and then go get some bearings and put everything that's new on this side. We're gonna worry about like the ball joints and all that good stuff after we put all this stuff on just to see if they'll last a little bit longer. So hopefully they will. Got this part painted. Now I'm gonna sand down the frame, the spring, this thing. And all that over there and this and paint it too but I'm also putting on a new master cylinder I got everything out except for the second brake line so I'm gonna get to doing that real quick so um, here's the aftermath of all the paper towels I had to use for repainting and cleaning up underneath the truck. But as you can see, I got everything done under here except for changing out this shock. So I'm gonna try to get that done and put this front back together. We're starting the cleaning on this side. We got everything took off. We got this side uh, put together and Paul Paul's about to take off the back car and start working on it. A little update on the truck, we got this front part on. We took off the back, turns out the seals and the rear end are bad, we're going to have to replace that. And then started taking everything off this side on the front. I'm gonna sand all that down and get ready to paint it. Got everything under here cleaned. Started sanding that down, sanded this down. I'm gonna sand that down later. <coughs> got the master cylinder on. I got my axle fixed. Got all this sprayed up. Spray painted that. Pop all breaking stuff. And got all these springs and stuff cleaned up. I'm gonna end the video here for now because we got a lot more to do. I mean, we still haven't even took the gas tank off or nothing. Any of the engine work, we haven't even got to it yet. And the video is just going to be way too long, so I'm just going to uh, make a part two on it, and y'all can catch that later on. Murder on call with the five nine. Twenty years and it seemed like a lifetime. I've been hanging every day from a lifeline. Why these fucking tell it every night?